But can I show you where Jesus says, I and the Father are one in the context where clearly he's saying, I'm not the Father, but with the Father, I'm one in power because together they're the one God. Because I'm going to read it. Whether you believe it or not, I just want to read it. Are you ready? You can read it, but. But what? Because this is the point. You're saying Trinity, right? I'm going to prove the Trinity if not from the Bible. I don't, so make up your mind. What do you want to talk about? No, I want to talk about Tawheed. Okay, so you want to go back to Tawheed? Okay, let's go to Tawheed. That's up to you. No, I'm th no this, is, this is part of Tawheed. Okay, so now let me read the verse. Go ahead. John 10, 27 and 30. I'm going to read it for you. Hold on, let me get it up for you. One second. This is now first the Hebrew Bible, and I'm sure you're going to agree with this. This is the Torah. See now that I, even I am he, there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So here God says, all power over life and death is in my hand. Life and death is in my hand. You die when I want you to die, and you live if I want you to live, and no one can deliver out of my hand. You would accept this, right? Yeah, I do accept that. Okay, so no creature can talk like this. No creature can say no one can deliver out of my hand, and I make a lie, right? Correct. Okay, now Isaiah 43, verse 13. Yea, before the day was, I am he. There is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work when who shall let it. In other words, no power can deliver anything out of my hand. When I want to do something, who can stop me? You agree that only God can say that, right? Only God can say that. Allah. Okay, good. Well, hold on. I'm just trying to set it up so you can see. Okay, now here, Psalm 95. This is a Zabur of Dawood, Zabur of David, or Zabur of anyway. 95, 6 to 8, it says, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, Yehovah, our maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hand. So he's saying, we are the sheep in his hand. Hand meaning his power, his care. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as at Meribah. As in the day of mass in the wilderness. So here it's saying, since you are the sheep in God's hand and his care, where he protects you and feeds you and preserves you by his hand, his power, listen to his voice. Okay, keep that in mind. We are the sheep of God in God's hand under his care and protection. We are to hear his voice. Now watch this. Watch what God says. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life, life that never ends. Notice what God is saying. They shall never perish, nor shall anyone snatch them from my hand. See? I give them eternal life. No one can snatch them out of my hand. When they're in my hand, I protect them, and I'm almighty to preserve them from anyone who want to destroy them. They're my sheep. They're my voices. So you see what God said? Do you agree with what God said here? I do agree. And nobody can do what God can do. So, Okay, but again, I just want to make sure. So you, do, you don't have no problem with God saying this, even though it's in my Bible, that just God said. Let me read it again. God just said, one more time, let me read it. He said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them. they follow me. We follow God. I give them eternal life. Only God can give life that never ends, right? Correct. And they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. They're in my hand, and I protect them. I'm almighty, so no one can destroy them if they're in my hand. So you agree with the words of God here, that God alone can say this and do this, right? Of course. And I, and I, and Amen. I agree. A lot of what the Old Testament says yes. agrees with the Quran. Good, good. So you agree that this God, here, God is agreeing with the Quran, right? Yes. That's Jesus. Not, not just this. Jihad, you didn't many... listen. That's Jesus speaking. I just quoted okay. Jesus, and you just admit okay, Jesus so, claimed to be God. So, okay. But listen, okay. before you get excited, hold on, wait. No, no, okay, no. Jihad, listen. That's Jesus. I just quoted Jesus in John 10, 27, 28, and you just admit that's God Almighty speaking. So you just admit that Jesus claimed to be God Almighty in the flesh. Thank you, Jihad. No, you, you, you were in the Old Testament. No, I, I, no I didn't say where I was. I said, are these the words of God? You said yes. Well, what I'm saying to you is God can say that. But Jesus God just said it. Okay. Now, I let me read the rest of it, though. I My don't believe father, that Jesus can say that. But you just said only God can say, I give eternal life. None can deliver on my hand. So you're changing your mind now? Now, let me finish it, though. Let me just finish it. 29 and 30. My father, see, Jesus speaking, so he's not the father, who's given them to me is greater than all. No one is able to snatch them from my father's hand. So notice what Jesus said. No one shall snatch them out of my hand. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. Why? My father and I are one. There you go, Jihad. Okay. Now, do you accept I that? Believe Jesus, Jesus has the right to say those things. You made it sound as if God was saying those things in the Old Testament. And if God is saying those things in the Old Testament, that's correct. Okay, I want everyone to hear this. So you're saying a creature can give everlasting, never-ending life. A creature is almighty over life and death. And a creature has the power to protect believers in his hand forever so that no one can destroy them. A creature can do that, huh? No, a creature cannot do that. But that's what Jesus just said. And you don't believe he's God. So make up your mind. No, no, Sam, what are you talking about? Jesus said, I give them everlasting life. No one can pluck them out of my hand. No one can deliver them out of my hand. I'm almighty over them to protect them. 
So Jesus, you don't believe he's God. So are you saying he just committed shirk? No, what I believe is that this is a version of the corrupted oh. Bible. So you want to change subjects and talk about the Bible corrupt and the Quran corrupt, or you want to stick to Tawheed and Trinity? We're sticking to Tawheed. I'm just okay. making a comment that okay. I don't believe that this is the authentic. So do you belief. at least agree Jesus claimed to be God, even though you don't believe he actually said it? As far as my Bible is concerned. As far as the Bible that you have today, yeah. I believe it's written that Jesus claimed to be God. Okay, then that's it. Let's go to Tawheed then, because there's no point. You're admitting my Bible. In my Bible, Jesus claims to be God Almighty. I know that's what you guys believe. No, I'm saying my Bible. Does it teach that Jesus claimed to be God, one with the Father and the Spirit, even though you don't believe Jesus said it? That's all. Because if so, then let's go to Tawheed, because there's no point. You, you, you admit my Bible does have Jesus claim to be God Almighty, though you reject it.